Okay, folks, this is a piece of shit. Another piece of marketing crap and advertising crap. Um, which I really don't fucking follow myself. Ah, this user interface is clumsy as, at best. Yeah, I just wish the photocopier industry could make more features and more new things instead of trying to dress it up as something impressive when it's just a load of marketing shit, just a load of fucking bells. What do they call them? Not bells and whistles. Uh, smoke and mirrors, that sort of shit. It's just crap the way the photocopier industry is. It's full of stupid people um, people that just care about money making money and there's slave labor involved as well so it's not a very hospitable place to work it's not a place where things are happening it's quite dull they just use all the same old software this legacy software it's bullshit and this is what we're utilizing this magazine and inside it a another one this is the um Inside this magazine is health and beauty, and I find the beauty industry is a dirty industry. You know, they just want to make money out of fucking shit. This is what we're interested in. Triple care colour, 100% grey coverage. Yeah, what's the problem with grey hair, folks? I've got a bit of salt and pepper here and there. I hope I'm pointing the camera correctly. I've got salt and pepper. What's to be ashamed of? I'm not going to grey, I'm not going to wash that grey out. I'm going to fucking keep it, folks. I'm proud of it. See, I, I don't... What's the point? You know, having having to... Um, worrying about grey hair. It's the natural part of getting old, folks. It's natural. Who cares? And I've just lost my settings. Who really gives a shit, you know? Your, your, your hair grow. You have to keep touching it up anyway at the roots because... Your hair keeps growing and you fucking people still know you're grey and you got these ugly grey bits at the roots and the rest of your hair it looks so unnatural, it looks so shitty. Why do people want to colour their hair? You hardly see people allowing themselves to go grey naturally. They just want to cover it up. It's just become the trend. It's really silly, it's expensive, it's chemicals and bullshit. You know, we don't need that kind of shit. These stupid m m manufacturers and companies are making money out of it folks don't give them the fucking glory you know, don't give them any reason to make money just fucking make sure they don't make money for fuck's sake by not buying their product by boycotting it you have got to boycott this shit folks it's not even good for the planet i don't think uh it's really shit makeup and hair and beauty they call it beauty but beauty is not is nat is about being natural not using artificial means to make yourself supposedly more beautiful i don't wear makeup look at my forehead look at it old age you know teasing and bullying all the time is what gave me my most of my furrows but i'm not going to hide them just because people are ashamed of their age it's just ridiculous the way people are so obsessed with fucking worrying they worry about their grey hairs and, and grey is natural you know just get over it folks get fucking over it I'm going to lighten this off it's a bit too heavy but basically I just have no I can't afford it anyway folks I'm not rich I can't afford to spend money and keep my hair looking so called young and fresh and beautiful uh, I can't even afford to get my hair cut as often as I'd like um but basically, most people are just so over, over, over obsessed with beauty, and they call it beauty. It's not beauty, folks. It's artificial. It's not beauty. It's ugliness. It's ugliness, folks. It's not being yourself. It's not being you. It's being fucking. You're just being dictated to by fucking cosmetics. 
companies, for fuck's sake. Um, I have no respect for it, folks. I have no respect for the beauty industry. I feel like calling it the ugly industry. <laughs> That looks a bit better. Now we've got some of that blue hue in that picture. But basically I'm just over this whole thing about people wanting to look supposedly young and beautiful and they want to find the fountain of youth. They think, you know, companies use word phrases like the fountain of youth to describe their shitty, dumb, dumb product. They do, they like to use all sorts of fucking catchphrases and all that. And it's really quite ridiculous the way they go and the amount of trouble they take to make you buy their dumb, dumb fuck-up product. So we're going to utilise this. There, yeah, it's a stupid, dumb fucking industry, the beauty industry. You know, beauty is really shit. Shitty, shitty, shitty. They want you to believe that you're ugly without their product. And some people, like old people, I've heard them say, Oh, I've got to put on my face. It's like, what face? You, you've got a face. Your face is beautiful as it is. Natural. Oh, natural, you could say. And that's kind of looking nice. I think we'll utilise that. So, you know, you just have to be happy with what you have, you know. I mean, sure, you, I can accept shaving your legs or having a having a shave, a facial shave, if you're a, especially if you're a bloke or a woman who's got hair on their face. But that's probably where I draw the line with with this whole beauty um, thing. <laughs> so you know, shaving is probably the only thing I find uh, acceptable in the in this beauty shit. Uh, but apart from that, I really have no respect for the way the industry is so hooked on making you hooked on their dumb, dumb shithouse product. Um, and yeah, you just and people just become self-conscious of their of being without their makeup, or some people, as I said, being without their face. That they, they have to put their face, their makeup has become their face. It's what they see. It's really quite a sad industry when you think about it, folks. Yeah, that's come up looking really quite interesting. So we're going to get rid of this dot matrix original. We're just going to go back to the uh, what we had. This looks a bit too dark, a bit too black. We want the, the lovely colours. So we're just going to run it on that maybe darken it a bit but yeah the cosmetics industry just wants to make a truckload of money off people who think they have to be made up in order to feel comfortable going out and you know and the thing is what's the point of makeup when when you go home and your husband sees you and you got no you know why if, if it's meant to make you look and feel more sexy maybe it, I think it's mostly single women who think they can go out and impress a man with makeup but then what happens when you marry and you're not wearing your makeup because hey you've just had a shower you've washed your hair you've washed your face you can't have makeup on 24 7 folks so what's what's the fucking point of hiding behind makeup you know when you, fuck your face is 
is the way that it is. I know maybe some people might have uh, severe deformities, they might have severe acne scars, which maybe that would warrant having to wear, for example, foundation that really that, that really makes them feel bad and and it might shock people. So they might that might be an op, an idea to wear foundation, for example, or whatever it is. I don't know about makeup, folks. I don't know what you're supposed to wear if you've got uh, severe acne scars, for example. Uh, but basically, you know, that, that might warrant covering up. But apart from that, there's no reason, real reason to, to just keep your face hidden. You know, you've got to be yourself, you know. And even if you have acne scars and you're not afraid to show it, oh, good, that's good. It's good to have courage and to be yourself, even if you have got acne scars. So let's see how we go. That's come up looking really quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.